All right, everybody. Welcome to Red X Live Prospecting, the place for prospecting. I'm Justin Zimmerman, and we've got another special edition of this show where we find amazing people in the Red X community who raise their hand and say, hey, I'd like to be on your show. I've got something special to say. I've got amazing results to share. And then we get on the phone and I meet people like Dan Valley who take time out of their day, are willing to prospect during an approaching hurricane for today's show. <laughs> and uh, just before we get started and bring him on and let him tell you a little bit about himself, Dan and I through just serendipitousness, serendipity, uh, went to the same high school, are from the same town and know the same area and just we became fast friends. He graduated a couple of years before me and so we just kind of have this natural rapport and just feels good to have what feels like a lifelong friend, you know, people from exactly. your home state, hometown uh, up on here. So uh, Dan, thanks for coming on here. Uh, I love the, the attitude that you bring. We've had so many wonderful conversations before this call. So I know uh, the mindset you bring, the history that you bring, the skill sets you bring. And so I think today is going to be a fun and exciting show, both for what you have to share is the mindset and the value and the tactics, as well as actually the calls that we're going to make. So thanks for coming on and give us a couple of minutes right now to tell us about your story and uh, what people who are listening right now ought to know about you. Sure. Well, thank you. Well, first of all, thank you for inviting me over on the uh, Red, uh, Red X Prospecting Live. So I appreciate that. And yeah, man, we're, you're a fellow shark. So, you know, we uh, grew up in the same area, went to the same school. Sharks, sharks, you know. So awesome, awesome, man. Um, so I've been in the real estate for 27 years. So I went out of high school, went right into real estate. So, you know, short little version. When I went into real estate, uh, I went to work in a uh, city called Boca Raton, which obviously you and I are from. And I was that Boca 18, Boca, there you go. And I was that 18 year old punk that was, you know, going in the office with a, a Steeda Mustang with the, uh, the incredibly loud mufflers and everybody was looking at me and saying, Hey, that 18 year old punk is not going to make it. But within the end of that first year, I was number two in that office. So then, you know, I shook up a, a many feathers over there, we can say. So yeah. over the years I've owned and, uh, co-owned with my family different real estate offices. So we bring it forward to today. Today I'm the uh, founder or co-founder of Royal International Realty. We have five offices. Uh, my mother and I are the uh, co-owners of three of them. And then we have two amazing uh, uh, franchises. Uh, we have one over in Phoenix, Arizona, which is uh, Rocky Dole, which has been on here already Rocky. before. Rocky. And then we have also Zandra Quintana over in Jacksonville. So we're growing and uh, so it's, it's pretty cool. You know, we have, we have a good time. We're one huge family. So we have a lot of fun, but everything is built on prospecting. And this is why I was so happy to come on here today and, you know, do this live with you, man, because that is a livelihood of what we're supposed to do is generate leads. And how do we do that? Well, let's get on the phones and let's prospect, right? That's how we yeah. should do it. And with a time like this, when we get a hurricane that's right about to come in, it's going to be an exciting time because, you know, we'll see what kind of wind that we're going to get and what kind of rain we're going to get on the phone. So it's going to be very exciting. Yeah, that's awesome. Yeah, I think the mindset really to pull out of that is that a lot of agents make excuses why they can't prospect. And so I'm not happy that there's a hurricane because I've lived a couple, through a couple of those myself and they are just not they're not fun. But for you to demonstrate right now that regardless of the weather or the circumstances, you're putting in your time, you're, do, you're doing your daily dose to do it, right? And who knows what kind of results we're going to get, but you're not letting like the external forces make decisions for you. Never. Never let the external forces do it. You be in control of what you do and the results will happen. So it's going to be great. We're going to see what's going to happen. One of two things will happen. One, we'll generate some leads. Or two, we're going to get a bunch of people that tell me I'm an idiot and craziness for giving them a call. But the great thing about that, if that happens, yeah, the people here watching are going to see that it's really not that bad. The people right. are not, you know, they're not, you know, hey, they're screaming at you. Well, it's not really at you. They're screaming at the opportunity of selling. That's it. I just had like a little visual of like, because uh, in a couple of seconds, I'm going to ask you to show your office, your not your office, but your prospecting space so people can get an idea of like sure. how... Yeah. We've, we've written a couple articles here on the value of having a dedicated prospecting space, what things should be in it to eliminate distractions, to keep focus. And one thing that just crazily popped into my mind is the concept of punching fear in the face. And it'd be kind of yeah. cool if there was like a little kind of board you could hang up that before you start your call, calls, it had like the word fear and you could just kind of like punch it in the face. Punch it. 
Yeah. Yeah. It's kind of like a good way to like, yeah, I'm going to punch fear in the face. Let's go. Right. And then, you know, I don't, <laughs> you know, for the, you know, the, yeah. the crazy well, I, side I, of it. I, I feel that you, you got to have the right environment. You know, a lot of people try to do this from home and I'll be honest with you, you, you need to be connected with an office that has the right environment and whatever state you're in, wherever you guys are at, there's an office out there that's going to be set up like what we have in here. Join an office like that because, you know, look, you're the one at the end of the day that's going to succeed based on one your on your results. So what we did in here and you can't really see it, but there's actually seven calling stations right here. And we mm -hmm. actually have people in here making calls as we're speaking. I got some somebody right over there. So even though hurricane is coming. People are still coming in, making their calls. So let me show you a picture just of my spot right here, just so you kind of see. So it kind of looks like this. Yeah, so, uh, you might need to back it up a little bit to get it focused, uh, maybe a little bit more closer. <laughs> <laughs> okay, yeah, if you could, no. if you could so, explain it. There's, in the corner, there's a mirror, there's your scripts, and then there's the iPad that obviously I can see myself on. You want to kind of just give us a right. quick... Yeah, of what those papers are and why you have it set up like this. Absolutely. And there's actually more over here. I have more objection handlers on this side right here. So what we got is uh, in the front, we have our scripts. And, and guys, you got to have your scripts in front of you. I don't care how long or how long or how much you know your scripts. You need to have them in front of you because the conversations will veer off at one point. And those are designed or by having them in front of you, it's designed to get you back on track. So you want to have your scripts there. So I have right in front of me, my cold call script, or in this case, my just listed script. I also have seller closes that are right next to me right here on this side. So these are gonna be little bullet points to try to close for the appointment. I also have my pre-qualifying listing presentation script. So you gotta have that. Look, you need to, you need to pre-qualify 100% of your appointments, 100% of the time. So I have that in front of me as well. So it reminds me, don't hang up. Keep going. You need to ask those questions. Very important. And then on this side right here, I have other objections as well that I have right here. But in front of me, I do have a mirror, like you mentioned. Why is that? Because it's important that we need to remind ourselves to be smiling. Because, you know, by being on the phones, we know that it's 80% tonality. And if you're smiling while you're speaking, people will actually feel that. They really do. So it's a constant reminder, hey, smile. So we have that. Then I have my laptop right here in front of me. I also have the very important bell. When we get a lead, we hit the bell. So we got to have that in front of us. And uh, also what I do in front of me, I have, you know, obviously my, my computer. I also have lead sheets. I'm a big believer that not only do you put in your leads in your CRM or in your dialer, but I like to also have them printed because, God forbid, something goes wrong and it crashes. I don't want to start back at zero. I want my leads. Yeah. So I have that with me. So I always constantly have that information in front of me. And yeah, that's it, man. Everything else, you know what I mean? You got to have that. And I, I don't like to clutter the area. You want to have a, an environment that's not cluttered. So, you know, right now I'm going to have my cell phone here because we're dialing. But normally I don't even put my cell phone in here, you know, because I'm using a headset normally. And I'm dialed in the dialer through uh, Google Voice. So I don't use my cell phone to dial in. So I take all that distraction out of the way so I can just do what my job is supposed to do, which is get a buyer or get a seller for, or well, get a buyer for my listing or go prospect and get more listings. And that's it. I, I, I want to jump into the calls as soon as we can, but I can't help myself. I was listening to a podcast with James Clear, who's the author of Atomic Habits. If you haven't heard of James Clear, Google him. You know, he's kind of like our era's most kind of, He's a habitologist, right? He writes all these books about high-performing people and really digs into things. And I was listening to him on this podcast. Uh, if you type, I think it was Rich Roll and James Clear. And the thing that stood out for me the most that was also just illuminated by what you just said is he was talking about how when Brett Favre was still playing and at the height of his career, he talked about how he habituated his his actions, his muscles, his plays to the point where everything became automatic. So essentially removing distractions so that when he could notice and have his attention focused on just the small variations, if like one guy would go left and make one maneuver, he could then at like the one in 1,000 times, this the 1,000 times this play has been run, it always goes this one way. But the one time there's this one variation, because he's so dialed in and things are so clutter-free in his mind and in his space, essentially, because that's basically his field, that
that he was mm -hmm. able to notice that little micro adjustment and just throw a little twist and get the play done. And for, for what I'm hearing and translating is that that almost applies the same to real estate agents in their field, in their game, on their right on their turf and like that space that you're talking about is to eliminate the most amount of distractions so when a variation in the script or a variation in the conversation pops up you can respond to it and not have to go look or search or find and you can tune in and make that maneuver that's right and one more thing i want to add to on mindset is you got to keep whatever negative things are going on in your life out of the door so in other words when you walk in your office Man, that mindset is clear on executing what you got to do. It doesn't how do you matter. Do that? How do you do that? How, how do you walk? How do you walk through the door? I'm sure there's hundreds of people watching this right now. They're like, "Thank you." Better, easier said than done. How do you walk through that door and leave everything at the front? Don't we bring my iPad with me and walk through and show you, or I'll just say, no, I'll just stay here. <laughs> yeah, so just, just stay here. Yeah, yeah. So here, here's what I do, man. I mean, look, it's it, it's mental toughness, right? So when I get at the door whatever is going on in my life, before I open that door, I'm, I'm disciplined enough. And I think that's where the, the key word is, discipline. You gotta be disciplined to say, hey, whatever is going wrong in my life or whatever is going around within the situation, like today, let's say, with these storms coming in, I can't do nothing about it. Like if I'm in a bad mood, it's not gonna make it better. If I'm in a negative mindset, it's not gonna make it better. It's not, it's not gonna fix things. How am I gonna fix things? Well, by being on the phones, because I know I'm going to fix something, right? Which will be, I'm going to get yeah. more clients, you know? So you have to leave that at the door. So I know it's tough, right? I know it's tough, but sometimes you got to have positive affirmations in front of you or have something to remind you of something good that's happened in the past, right? So let's say, let's yeah. say somebody, great, great deal, a nice big deal. Hey, have a copy of that check, put it right there in front of you. So when you're going through those times where you're making calls and you're just getting yelled at or hang ups or whatever, then you can look back to that and say, hey, I earned that check before. I could get 10 more of those this year, no problem at all. Mm. So, but I'm gonna do it only if I have the right mindset because if I come in and I'm thinking, hey, I'm not gonna do good today. Yeah, you're right, you're not gonna do good today. But if you come in and you say, hey, you know what? I'm gonna have a positive mindset. I'm gonna go in, I'm gonna execute everything I need to do. And I'm not gonna walk out that door without an appointment or a good lead. Then guess what? I'm right. That's what's gonna happen. I'm gonna do exactly that. Real estate is a self-fulfilling prophecy. And so speaking of things on your on your wall and in front of you, uh, mm -hmm. let's let's let the audience hear a version. Tell us about the script you use, why you sure. chose that script, and the variations yeah. and modifications that you've used or you've made to it. Sure. Yeah, so I'm I'm a big MFO fan. I mean, I've been coached by my fair organization for many, many years. I mean, I started back with them, my gosh, I would say ninety six or 97, somewhere around that range. So what we're gonna do today, we're gonna use the just listed script. So if we have enough time, I, I'm gonna call on two brand new listings that I just picked up. Um, one of them, by the way, is a for sale by owner. And that was through, by the way, through Red X, okay? Through the leads that, that we generate thank through thank you. for sale by it. owner. Thank you. Awesome. On behalf of everybody here at Red X, you're welcome. Thank you, thank, well, thank you for putting that together. And so I have to search every day, you know? So that that's awesome. Um, but what I do is I, I use the just listed script. Now I have two different variations of it when I need to. So the original goal was we we're gonna do an open house this weekend, which is not gonna happen, right? So I'm not gonna use that one. But what I'm gonna do now, I'm gonna use the regular Mike Ferry script. But what happens at the end, if they are not looking to sell, then what I wanna do is I wanna immediately have their contact information, their email address, and put them into my CRM and start sending them you know sending them what I need to send them over time okay so I add that part so for example you want us to role play it real quick sure okay perfect so ring 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 hello hey Justin this is Dan with Royal International Realty and I just listed a home for sale over on Northwest 23rd Street it has four bedrooms two baths and we listed it for 399,000 and I was wondering who do you know that would like to move into our area hmm. Uh, not anybody I know right now. Nope. Can't think of anybody. You don't know anybody. All right, cool. Fantastic. I appreciate that. Hey, thank you for taking the time to uh, think about it. By the way, tell me, when do you plan on moving? Uh, I don't have any plans on moving. You don't have no plans. Okay, that's terrific. How long have you lived at this address? 17 years. 17 years. Oh, good for you. Where did you uh, move from? Uh, I was born in this house. You're born in this house. Oh man, that's awesome. That's cool. So if you were to move, where would you go next? Um, probably Maui. 
Maui. Oh, that's yeah. exciting. So you're yep. gonna catch some waves over there. Yep, hang out on the beach, catch some waves. That's awesome, man. No hurricanes, hopefully, right? Nope. Awesome, man. When would that be? Uh, that's just a dream right now. Really, don't know how we're gonna get there. That's a dream. Okay, that's cool. Hey, well, look, you know, if you decide to move to Maui or anywhere else in the future, if you were to buy or sell, okay, and by buying, I mean if you were to invest in other properties. Do you have an agent do you already have in mind? Uh, no, I don't. You don't? Awesome. Hey, I would love to have the opportunity to be your trusted advisor. So do you mind if we stay in touch? Sure. Awesome, man. So I'll go ahead and I'll send you my contact information. What's your email address? Uh, uh, jz at aol.com. Jay-Z at AOL.com. Awesome. Hey, Jay-Z, well, I'll definitely send you my information. And by the way, if you know anybody looking or buy or sell, hey, do me a favor. Reach out to me. I'd love to take care of them. All right. You got it. Awesome, man. Have a great day. All right. Thank and you. That's it. It's that simple. That simple. So now it just generated. That's generate deceptively it. simple. It, we don't have to make it hard. You know, so many people out there are trying to make scripts hard, and it's not hard. It's really simple. Just follow a script that works and just stick with it. <laughs> and that's it. You know, don't overthink it. Great. Well, uh, one last question before we get into the calls. Sure. Uh, I like to ground the listeners, as we've just done, and who you are, what you're about to do, why you're doing it, and then kind of the last piece is results. People love to hear, okay, I'm going to watch this guy prospect. I'm going to yeah. take advice possibly from him, maybe model or do exactly what he says. Absolutely. What's in it for me on the other end? And so I'd like to hear a story from you short about how Red X, Red X leads and this approach yeah. have benefited sure. you in some way in, a, in the last month or two. Absolutely. Well, the, the one I'm going to be calling on first right now, that was a for sale by owner that we got through, you know, through the FISBO leads, you know, and then pretty much I, I have your service with Storm Dollar, so it goes right in. Cool. I have put on my headset, I dial, and that's it, man. I do my for sale by owner script, which is also the, the MFO, Mike Ferry script. It works, you know, and, you know, the, the, and the script works because of this reason, right? We say to them, hey, we're doing a survey of all the for sale by owners in the area. So it, it kind of like tells them that it doesn't make sense if they don't follow through with it as well. They should, because everybody answers the survey, okay? So that's why we do that. So I go through my for sale by owner script. I book the appointment using again you know using the leads from you guys and that's it man i go out there i do my thing i for those who are wondering what kind of listing presentation i use i keep it really simple guys i use the mike ferry listing presentation and by the way i'm not paid by mike ferry to say this stuff i'm just telling you guys what works don't reinvent the wheel just stick with what works you know it's short it's to the point and it gets the results so i do that you know so we, we generate the leads that way man so that's one right there um the other one that i'm going to be dialing on if we have enough time that one there was actually from a cold call script. So what I do is I use the I use a mixture of geo leads that you guys have, and also use cold realty resource. I use both. So same thing, man. I generate the leads through that, and then I just call call the whole neighborhood. All right. Well, I think you've set us up perfectly for the next step of today's show. So uh, fire up. Let's do it, man. All right. I'm gonna start dialing. So yeah, while you uh, set those things up, I was looking at Facebook today, and uh, 500 of my closest friends. All have been Facebook. forwarded to an automatic voice message system. What happened? I'm sorry. I didn't know you were gonna pop on so quick. I'm gonna let it go. I'm gonna let you guys. Well, I'm already. Oh man. No, but I can multitask, man. Go for it. Uh, now, just saying, the the hurricane looks like everyone's really freaking out with all the stores and the water and the. It's crazy, man. It's like a mob Traffic. scene on Facebook, at least from here. Traffic, man, it's horrible. And the people are driving. Number that you are trying to reach. Driving like crazy, man. They're just driving like crazy. And remember, it's still four days away. It's not like it's going to hit this afternoon. But like last night, the thunder was was outrageous, man. It felt like it was right about to come in. Like you're everybody's putting on the news. Like, all right, did something happen? Did this thing like speed up? You know, did it warped over here in in a, a few minutes? But yeah. The outer bands are already reaching you guys. Hello. Hello. Hey, Tracy. Uh, my name is Dan with Royal International Realty, and I just listed a home for sale over on Northwest 23rd Street, and it has four bedrooms, two baths, and it's listed for $3.99, and they hung up. Perfect. We keep going. 
What kind of disposition do you mark that as? Contact. The moment they say, that's a great question, man. So a lot of people are like in different, different buckets about that. My bucket is, hello, they hung up. So, okay. So for example, the first, see, that was two. So the first one said, hello. As soon as they say hello, I count that as a contact. This one here did not say hello. He just picked up and then he hung up. I don't count that as a contact. I want them to say hello. What's the value of a contact to you? Because I know my numbers. I know I need to reach 20 contacts to get a yes. So essentially 20 hellos equals a yes. A yes. Yeah. Hello. Hey, Jody. My name is Dan with Royal International Realty. And I just listed a home for sale over on Northwest 23rd Street. And it has four bedrooms, two baths, and it's listed for 399000 And I was wondering, who do you know that would like to move into our area? You don't know? Oh, okay. Hey, I appreciate you taking the time to uh, think about it. And by the way, tell me, when do you plan on moving? I, I, not for several years. Not for several years? Awesome. So when you do move in several years, where are you guys planning on moving to? I really don't know. <laughs> you really don't know? Oh, no problem. Well, by the way, how long have you lived at this address? Um, uh... Like nine years. <laughs> nine years? Oh, that's awesome. A long time. Yeah, a long time. Yeah. How, how'd you guys yeah. happen to pick this area? Um, I don't know. Honestly, I'm really not interested in purchasing at this point. So. Oh, okay. No, I totally understand. So what, one quick question. If you were to buy or sell in the future, do you have an agent you already have in mind? Um, yeah, probably. You do? Oh, okay, cool. So I'm sure you'll be in good hands then. Hey, well, thank you for taking my call. So in this case, you see how she said she had an agent already. So I'm not going to fight that because here, and some, some people will fight it. They'll say, oh, no, hey, still go for it, whatever. Here's the deal. If her friend, who let's say her best friend, it happens to be a realtor, who do you think is really going to get that listing? I mean, seriously. Right. Her mom or her friend. I mean, it's hard to, Hello? Hard to combat that. Hello? Yeah, exactly. It's hard to combat that, you know. Now, if she had said, you see how she said two years from now. So that's a long time, man. So I didn't, you know, so I didn't press on as much, right? But if she said, hey, probably in the next year, then when I said, you know, do you have an agent you already have in mind? If she said, yeah, then I would say, hey, I would like to apply for that position as well. You see, so I would do that, you know, but in this case, and I'm, I'm picking this up by her voice. I'm thinking this probably maybe a teenager. I don't know. You know what I mean? That's. Hi, I'm away from my phone right now. Please leave your name. And... But I still went with it as well. That you saw how I didn't, I didn't go through. No. Yeah, hey, Boris, this is Dan with Royal International Realty. And I just listed a home for sale over on Northwest 23rd Street. And it has four bedrooms, two baths. And it's listed for 399000 And I was wondering, who do you know that would like to move into our area? Located? Sure, it's uh, located on Northwest 23rd Street. Are you familiar Northwest with that street? Hello? Yeah, hi, can you hear me? Yeah, what is the area? Yeah, the area. It's, what uh, area? Sure, it's over on uh, over in Pebble Lakes, uh, 11371 Northwest 23rd Street. You're familiar with that home? Yeah, but what area? Miami, Pembroke Pines, where? No, Pembroke Pines, right around the corner from you. You're over on Taft Street, correct? Not anymore. Oh, not anymore. Oh, so you moved. So where where are you now? You're in you're in the uh, you said Miami? I'm in Miami right now. Oh, okay. How long have you been living in Miami? Yeah, for almost maybe five years. Five years? Oh, that's good for you. How'd you happen to pick Miami? No, but I don't like Miami. I want to move to back to uh, back to Davie. You want to move back to Davie, man? I happened to call at the right time, man. So I love to apply for the job of helping you sell your home and help you get a new home. So when are you available for me to stop by and take a look at your home? So I'm available next Thursday at 4 p.m. Would that work? That time work for you? Send me send me your information. Sure. Is this number? 
Yeah, I'll send you my information. What's your What's your email address, by the way? Boris A Display at Yahoo.com. I'm sorry, Boris, and what and what is it? It is an apple. Uh huh. Display. Display. Okay. D i s t l a y. Yep. At Yahoo.com. At Yahoo. Okay. And what's the property address? Because I'll do a little research on it as well. What's that address? Right now. Oh, you're renting right now. Oh, I thought I thought you were I thought you owned the property, so you're renting. All right, cool. So when does your lease end? Yeah, like uh, first a month of next year, but I, I don't care that. Okay, so you you only you cancel your lease if I find you that perfect home? Yeah, I'm not uh, not a problem with that. Oh, okay. So here's what we'll do then, because I was going to set up a time to go see you, because I, I I thought you said you owned the home. So what I like to do then is I'll send you my information, but what I want to do is uh, set up a time where I can have you come to my office. And then what I'll do is I'll qualify you. I'm also a mortgage broker. So we'll take a look and see what kind of home, you know, what kind of price point we can help you with. And uh, I'm right around the corner from Davey. I'm in Fort Lauderdale. I'm right there on Griffin Road. So I'm literally like six minutes away from Davey. So I'll be able to help you out with that. But are you, are you available? Because I'm looking at my schedule, though. Are you available next Thursday around 4 to come to my office? Uh, I don't know yet until uh, let's see what happens with the hurricane and all that because the people are driving crazy right now. Yeah, I totally understand, man. I know that. So how about this? So here's what we'll do because I, I know we're both going through that hurricane together, right? So we can okay, celebrate. If you after... want to call me, call me on Wednesday. Yeah, I'll call you. I'll call you on Wednesday. And let's do this. I'm going to pencil you in for Thursday at four anyway, and then what I'll do is I'll call you Wednesday just to reconfirm that time, and uh, we'll celebrate that we made it through that hurricane. Does that sound fair? Sounds, sounds good to me. Sounds good. 4 p.m. Awesome, man. So I, what I'm going to do instead of emailing you, I'm going to text you my address, and I'll send you my business card and everything. And then uh, what I'll do is I'll call you Wednesday just to reconfirm. But just go ahead and mark it for Thursday, 4 p.m., okay? Okay. Thursday yeah. is a little difficult at that, at that time. Yeah, exactly. If there's, well, if, is it because, oh, you, you said it's going to be a little, little bit difficult at that time? Yeah, that time is a little difficult for me. Oh, okay, so you need to have it a little bit later, later yeah, uh, after work? Early. Oh, earlier is even better for me. So are you able to do it? Uh, let me see here. How about 2 p.m.? Early. Earlier, like in the morning? You don't have nothing around 10 o'clock? 10 o'clock. Well, I usually have something else that I do. 11? But, oh, 11? Okay, 11 is perfect. Let's do 11 a.m. Perfect. Okay. 11 a.m. So I'll send you a – I'll text you a confirmation with my business card with my address, and then I'll call you Wednesday morning to confirm for Thursday at 11, uh, 11 a.m., okay? Okay, perfect. Sounds good, Boris. Hey, I appreciate it, man. I'm going to help you get that perfect home, okay? Thank you. Uh, yeah, you're welcome, man. Hey, stay safe Bye. during that hurricane. Take care. Bye-bye. Okay. Yeah, okay. Bye. Thanks. You too. Bye-bye. Hey, it's at the – should I just go to the beach or should I just keep calling? What, what, should, I, what should I do? I think it's time to hang up and uh, call it a day. I think uh, you know you should rest on your laurels and give up just for the day. <laughs> so, let me just make a note. I'm just going to handwrite the note on this one, sure. and then but you, can, but you can talk to me as I'm as I'm, or if anybody has any questions about what just happened. And by the way, that was contact number two. Okay, contact number two. That was the second person that actually answered. So I'm just going to write down here his name, and I'll walk you through what happened in a moment. Um, I'll put here. Yeah, I was starting to write down, but a little like score sheet for you. I was gonna hold up to the to the camera here. You know, getting to your twenty, but you already uh, you kind of kind of took the fun <laughs> out of that by winning. <laughs> yeah, that's the thing, man. I got a problem. I win too many times. <laughs> so give me one second. Let me just write this stuff down real quick. It'll take just a moment, and I'll walk you through how how this whole thing went down. All right, so appointment, and not only that, but remember, it's it's a lead, but it's also an appointment. I got a bona fide appointment. See, that's the key. Guys, don't give up. When you're making these calls, and like he said, hey, just send me your information. Most people be like, okay, I'll send you my information, and that's it. Man, I go, yeah, sure, no problem, and then I keep going. That's it, man. You got to keep going, you know? 
you got to keep going for the appointment. If you're, look, here's my thoughts on all this, right? If you take the time to do this, to get on the phones, make calls, then let's go all the way, man, right? Go 100% in. Get the appointment. Don't just go for a lead. Go for the appointment. And that's it. And that's exactly it. I could have made it just a lead, but then I converted the lead to an appointment. And that's it. It's that simple, you know? So Thursday, 11 a.m. All right, cool. So, oh, oh, here's another trick too, man. Just a mindset thing. So what I did before I, I started dialing, I took my lead sheet and I actually put the date on it like this right here. See, I have the date. Mm -hmm. So it's a blank lead sheet, but I have a date. So it's a mental thing. I have a mental thing that if I put pen on here, I'm expecting my, in my mindset to fill it out. Hmm. So, so in other words, I just did this, which means I am going to get another lead before we're done. We were almost kind works? of like, again, a self-fulfilling prophecy slash almost law of attraction type thing is you start it's writing it, you want, to you want to complete it. It's almost like a commitment to keep going yeah. until you finish that That's next it. seed. That's it. You know what I mean? That is exactly it, man. Let me just note here that we have an appointment set. All right, let's keep going. Yeah, it's that easy, man. You know, you go for the appointment. You know, some people try to go for the lead. It's like, no, don't go for the lead. Go for an appointment. <laughs> you know, Explain an appointment. the difference for the agents who don't. That was a voicemail. I'm sorry. Go ahead. Repeat that. Yeah, I'm sorry. When, when you got the chance, explain the difference for the agents who don't understand the nuance between going for the lead and going for the appointment. Yeah, it's the difference is money in your pocket. Because <laughs> okay. here, here's what happens, right? So a lot of people, you know, they'll get on the phones and the first mindset thing is, is this going to work or not? That's the first thing they go through. It's that first circle. Okay, there's this thing I teach my agents. There's three circles. So that first one is like the learning zone, right? You're out there. You're trying to figure this thing out. You're doubting yourself. You're going through all these emotions. And that's why I say you got to keep those emotions out the door, right? So now they start making these calls. Hello? Yeah, yeah hi. This Hello? Is, yeah, hi. Good morning. This is Dan with Royal International Realty. And I just listed a home for sale over on Northwest 23rd Street. And it has four bedrooms, two baths, and it's listed for 399000 And I was wondering, who do you know that would like to move into our area? Uh, mm, I'm not sure uh, what you're talking about. Sure. Well, I'm talking about I, a home. Yeah, I'm talking about a home that I just listed for three hundred ninety-nine thousand. So I was hoping that maybe you can help me find that perfect neighbor for you. Do you know anybody looking to uh, to purchase in our area? Oh no, I, um, I'm sorry. No, I live in Tampa. Where oh. Where do you live? Oh, you're in Tampa. Oh, I'm in Fort Lauderdale. Did you used to live yeah. over on Northwest Sixteenth Court? Mm, no, I think that I think that this is. The wrong number. That's uh, why. Ah, uh, okay. Wait, well, hey, listen. Since I have you on okay. the phone, though, since I have you on the phone, uh, how long have you been living in Tampa? Okay. Uh, eight months. Eight months. Oh, wow. Where did you move from? Yeah. Uh, Brazil. Brazil. My wife is from, from Brazil. Brazil. Wow. My wife's from Brazil. She's from. Oh, um, really? Yeah, Minas Gerais. Uh, Minas Gerais. Oh, Correct. I'm from Sao Paulo. Sao Paulo. Oh, I, that's I speak awesome. Portuguese or she <laughs> she, yeah, uh, obrigado, obrigada, fala português. Uh, uh, yeah, fala português. <laughs> fala português. That's right. You got, I got, I got to learn. You okay. know. Okay. Are, are you a realtor? Yeah, I am a are realtor. A yeah, I'm a realtor, and we actually have an office uh -huh. in Tampa. So, are you looking? Oh, to, are you renting there, I'm, or do you own I'm, a house? Yeah, I'm a renting, and uh, but my leasing is due January. I'm not sure if, if I'm gonna buy a house here or if I'm gonna like renting, you know, because the dollar price, I think that you you know, it's very high now. It's like almost. Uh, it's four four, four rias to one yeah. American dollar. Are you are you using? Yeah, yeah it's four rias to oh. an American dollar. Um, but believe it yeah. or not, you, I'm uh, sure you more see, than four. Is well, I heard it went to four and a quarter. It's more than four. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah I, heard, I heard. To, yes, I heard it went I, to four. But uh, it's yeah, it's pretty expensive. The tourism one is four fifty nine. Four fifty nine. It's even worse than what it was. Oh uh, my gosh. Yeah. That's incredible. But uh, I was I 
Yeah, that's it. I I went to Wesley Chapel. I live in, in North Tampa. I live uh, in Temple Tejas. I don't know if you know the area. I because I go to USF. USF, okay. I go to University of South Florida. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So I live like three miles away from University of South Florida. Um, so I went to Wesley Chapel and I went to Brandon and then I saw some open houses uh, a couple of weeks ago. Mm -hmm. But now because of the dollar price, I will, uh, my husband and I will like wait a little bit yeah. so we can uh, see what's going on in our uh, country. Right, exactly. <laughs> no, no, of course. So, yeah. Well, well, yeah. Here, do you have a do you have a, a site a website that I can visit or I can see I your do. listing? Yeah, because I do. Because actually, I have a, a friend. I know. I don't know if you if you know if you if you live in Fort Lauderdale. I maybe do. You've heard of Marianne Menin? Yeah, I do. Yeah, that area. Marianne yeah, yeah. Menin. She's from Cold Coldwell. Cold Banker. Coldwell Parker. Uh, yeah, uh, banker. Yeah, banker. Yeah, banker. Banker. Uh -huh. Yeah, she's my friend, and she was trying to help me. Like you know, with uh, deciding on buying or renting. Right, right. So, uh, well, yeah. Well, here, here's what I like to do. But then I'll keep your number. What's your name again? Sure. What's your name again? Yeah, my my name my name is Dan Valley. What I'm gonna do? I'm gonna send you my business card. I'll text you my card because we actually have an office okay. in Tampa too. Okay. So here's a cool thing. I can help you okay. in a couple different ways, and I can help your friend too. So uh -huh. here's the deal. So I'll text uh -huh. you my business card. Give me a little bit because I'm making my calls. But what I'll do, I will text you my business uh -huh. card. I have an office in Tampa. I'll text you my okay. website address as well. I'm also a mortgage broker, so okay. I can help qualify you. But what I'm going to do for your friend that's uh -huh. over here, I'm also a real estate coach. Uh -huh. So what I'll do, I will actually help her generate more deals. And then when it's your turn to come uh -huh. to move back here, if you end up ever moving back here, then she'll be well prepared. and. Maybe I can help her in the meanwhile to generate uh -huh. more income as well. Would that be would that be uh, okay with that? Uh -huh. are, you, are you fine with that? Uh-huh. Well, yeah, you can send me your, your business card. Sure. Oh, Obrigada. Do, obrigada. <laughs> Thank yeah. you. Sounds good. Thank obrigada. you. Give me just a oh, little yeah. bit. Your, your name is Juliana, uh, right? Luciana. Lu Luciana. 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 Yes. Okay, perfect, Luciana. Again, I'm Dan, yes. so I'll text you my info. Okay. Give me just a little bit. Okay, thanks. Okay, no problem. You got it. Obrigado. Obrigado. Ciao. Obrigado. Ciao. <laughs> you just, that's, a, that's a perfect perfect scenario of what happens and why people on the outside criticize. And once you see that happen, you're like, oh, wow, you pick up the phone and there's somebody who's – and as soon as you hit that rapport button about your wife being from Brazil, she just totally opened up to you and it was yeah. that was fun. So here's what I do, right? When I'm on the phone, first of all, the first, here, here's the, the biggest tip for whoever's watching, right? Don't just talk. Listen. Listen. Pick up what you should be talking less than them. Let them talk. So in this case, I started out, and, and I'm trying to remember how the whole conversation went, but somehow she said, I live in Tampa, or I forgot how this thing went down, right? Actually, I don't remember how it went down. <laughs> Because all the stuff that's happening at the same time, so I don't remember. But but you see how what I did is as soon as I saw that there was something common, I, I'll jump right on that. When I'm in somebody's home, when I'm viewing somebody's home, if I see, for example, I see like the Brooklyn Bridge, right? Sometimes you'll see something about New York. Right. I'll be like, oh, wow, New York. Are you from New York? Yeah. Wow. Okay. Actually, that bridge right there, I proposed to my wife under the Brooklyn Bridge. Really? Yeah. You know, the Brooklyn ice cream rate. So I'll connect. I'm always looking for something that I can connect with. In this case, as soon as I knew she was Brazilian, I just jumped right on it. Mm, that was, and now I, I'm giving her I, that was fun. That, that was fun, right? So now we have an opportunity to possibly help her purchase a home because we have an office in Tampa anyway. So this is like, dude, the, I, I'm calling Pembroke Pines, Florida. Now here, I want I want to give another another uh, thought. A lot of people will make calls and say, "Oh gosh, these numbers are no good, right? Oh, the phone numbers are bad." Listen, you got a live body. Talk to them. For God's sakes, talk to them. You'll never know what will happen. Okay? If somebody says, oh, I don't live in that area. Oh, you don't? Where do you live? The guy says before, I'm in Miami. The other call, I'm in Miami. Oh, in Miami. Okay. And then he tells me right out loud, yeah, I'm looking to move back to Davie. Dude, perfect. Let's do it. I'm going to help you out.
You know, but you got to listen. You got to listen and then you react to how they speak. So in this case with her, possibly helping her buy a home over there. If she moves back here, obviously she's going to use her friend. That kind of goes along with what I said before with the other script where I say, hey, if you were to buy or sell in the future, do you have an agent you would work with? Look, if she moves back here, she's using her friend, man. She's not using me. But here's the deal. I can help her friend generate more business by watching what I do. So now I'm going to be in touch with her. I'm going to communicate with her friend. If she doesn't move back here and decides to buy in Tampa, I'm going to give it to one of our agents in Tampa, and that's it. We still make money. Yeah, you we went to someone who was basically a, a wrong number or out of, you know, out of the area, old data, you know, and you turned that, you just with a couple of questions, you realized you could help them, and you didn't give yeah. up. Yeah. It, you know what's funny? I, again, I hear that all the time. People will say, oh, you know, like these numbers are no good. No, they're good. If you have a whole bunch of disconnect, that's a different story. But if, if their phone rings and somebody picks up, it's a live body, man. I don't care where they live. I'm going to find out a way to help them out if they need help. And that's it, you know? So, yeah. I'm just going to make a little note here real quick, and then we'll, we'll keep going. But you can, you can ask me questions while I'm doing this. Yeah, we're, uh, we're getting close to the end of our hour here. And so uh, because we spent time yesterday. Yeah, it's uh, coming up on uh, 10 o'clock our time, 12 o'clock your time. Mm -hmm. Which also goes to the question we get all the time is when's the best time to call? And I think it is market by market, but in the area that we're talking to right now, the South Florida area, it seems like any time is a good time to call. Because it's not 8 a.m., you know, it's 12. It's almost noon, right? So, yeah. Look, here, here's, here's what I tell people when they ask me that. When's the best time? First of all, any time is a good time. I don't, I don't care what time, but the best time, the absolute best time is the morning time up to 12. Like the 8 to 12 is the best. If you're going to make if you're going to make expire calls first thing in the morning, that should be the first thing. And just a thought, maybe if you want to do that, we could do another show like this where I go uh live door knocking doing expires. You know, cuz that's that's I love doing door knocking with expires, man. That's instead of calling them, I just go to their door. Thumbs up on that. Yeah, let's let's jump on that after this call and get a little bit more details. Yeah, man, let's do it, man. Not a problem. But, you know, hey, guys, here's how I want to leave it, right? If, if you're on the fence about making calls, do yourself and your family a favor. Get on the phones. Try it out. Get away from all those golden nuggets that you hear online on Facebook that are not golden. They're brown nuggets, okay? I'm not going to say the word, but you know, you know what I'm right. trying to say, okay? What these people are doing, these proclaimed gurus, okay, self-proclaimed gurus are going out there and they're feeding off people's fear to get on the phones. And they're telling them, hey, just do this, no cold calling, no this, no that. The reality is you're going to be chasing people trying to get business from people who are not interested. There's three levels of commitment. And remember, we talked about that the other day. There's interested, committed, and obsessed. When you're making these phone calls, you can easily grab the people who are obsessed, the real buyers, the real sellers. When you're feeding off these Facebook leads and all these things out there, you're just dealing with interested people. And I would rather deal with somebody who's obsessed, who has a reason to buy or to sell. It's going to go a long way. It's going to go to a closing. Where you're dealing with somebody who's just interested in buying, you're, it's, it's going to go a long way of frustration that may not lead anywhere. So that's do yourself 26 a years of experience speaking right here. That's it, man. You know, and, and guess what? You, you want to know something? Let me tell you a quick thing. So when I first got my license, my father was licensed in 73, my mother in 75, and then I got licensed in 93. So when I got licensed in 93, we didn't have storm dialing. We had a phone book and a phone, not even a cell phone. Remember, there was no cell phones. It was a phone with a cord. So I remember getting my license, right? And I'm like, all right, what am I going to do? So my mom and dad are like, all right, so what you're going to do is you're, you're going to get on the phone and you're going to make calls. And I'm like, okay, who, who am I going to call? So they throw at me two things. One, a phone book, for real, a phone book, and two, a newspaper. So I had to go through the newspaper, look for for sale by owners, and start calling these people, and then grabbing the phone book and start running it through it. So I started dialing in 93, like then, back then. And guess what? Nothing has changed. Over the years, it's the same results. If you dial, you will win. If you don't dial, you're going to be frustrated with all kinds of stuff. So do yourself a favor. Try it out. If you're afraid of dialing or making phone calls, try it out. Don't, don't say it doesn't work if you haven't tried. you got to try it first. And here's the other thing too, right? 
like obviously my skill level, I've been doing this for a long time. So I already, I, I do what I call, or I, I call it predictable business. I know I'm going to get on the phone and I'm going to generate a deal or a lead or something. But if you're brand new, it takes a little time. You know, you got you to give it a chance. It takes about three months from day one trying to make phone calls to where you are now. You know, I have an agent that's making calls in here right now. Yesterday, she generated four buyer leads. Okay, and also I think one listing lead, five leads yesterday in about three hours, hmm. right? But she's almost on her third month being here. When she first started, she was getting nothing, nothing, and it's frustration, right? It's like, man, how am I, what am I going to do? I need to, you know, should I, am I doing something wrong? No, you're not. You're just putting in the time. It, that's it. it. It takes time. You got to do it. But here's the thing. If you don't start now, you'll never get there. You got to start hmm. now and work through those, those headaches, and then it's going to snap, and you're going to be like, man, I got it. And now it becomes predictable business. So that's where I want to leave it. You know, that's, that's my last, uh, my, uh, my golden nugget, my real golden nugget I can give. You, you, know. you read my mind and I was thinking about that little plaque you have in your conference room about those three things. Yeah. And uh, I, well, actually was the direction I wanted to kind of roll things and wrap them up with. And so you nailed it. Yeah. So, it's... Uh, we'll let you get back to the, the preparations for the hurricanes. Uh, I know you could continue making some more calls if you're going to do that. Wish you yep. the best of luck for the rest of the day. I you and I have some it. more things to follow up on. And as I you say, everybody, thanks for tuning in, watching. Thank you, Dan, for taking time out of your day in the middle or pre-hurricane, right? All the <laughs> craziness going on out there. Uh, hey, as well. always, thanks to everybody here at Red X for making the products, helping get all the customer support done, sharing ideas all like this product. on the marketing team. And so just a, a big thank you and gratitude for all of them. I'm your host, Justin Zimmerman. See you next time on Live Prospecting with Red X. See you all then. See you guys. Bye-bye now.